Hey everyone, Ivan here, not Ivan, and welcome back to my channel. It is uh, an exciting day because I am having the second round of laser treatment done on my left eye. Now, what I have, uh, which is a tear in the retina. I have a few tears in both eyes, but the most riskier one is the one in my left. So they've started doing treatment on it, and I've got my second and hopefully final round today to um, finish fixing that up. So. For those of you who don't know what uh, the treatment's for, essentially I went to the optometrist and uh, had a routine checkup because I had some like floater things moving around, like a black spot in my vision. And I basically went there and they looked uh, at my retina and found that there was a small tear in it. Now this led them to then refer me to a uh, retina surgeon. Um, I had some laser treatment on that to basically cauterize the tissue and stop it from getting worse. So the way it's been explained to me, and I'm no doctor, uh, but uh, so this is just my experience is that basically you can get a tear in your retina because I'm short-sighted I wear glasses basically that the the retina stretches and over time if it stretches too much you can get a hole in it now if you get a hole in it the fluid inside your eye can get inside the hole if that happens it can lift off and tear um, if it fully comes off then it's a detached retina so I've got a uh, tear in the so if this is the back of my eye in the top corner part of it so I think it's the top or the bottom depending on which way you look at it um, so it's in a lower risk area but it's kind of like one of the layers has started coming off so they've cauterized the tissue the first time around with a laser uh, pew, pew, pew. Uh, but then they're going to be going off and doing some more laser on the eye today so the way they basically do it is it's not like a really painful experience if you if you kind of if you ever had like a pain where like you just you get this like sharp pain in the back of your eye and it kind of like you can feel it almost like in your head but in your eye it's kind of like a dull version of that and basically you put your your chin onto a onto a holder and you put your head forward into like a plate and you basically look in the direction they tell you so you either look to the extreme left or extreme right or upper or lower and you hold it there and they basically fire this laser into the back uh, through your through the pupil into your retina and they basically cauterize the tissue so they just burn it. it's almost like welding the tissue uh, to stop the hole from getting bigger um, so they basically put some drops in there that dilates your pupils and then that allows them to actually see inside because it's quite open um, but also makes your eyes a little bit sensitive so uh, often the sun uh, bright lights uh, can be a little bit difficult to see so you know I put sunglasses on after it and then they put some more drops and that basically like numbs your eye and, and you can actually feel it like your, your eyes start to get quite heavy and it, when you blink it feels a little bit heavier but they basically put that in there and they get this like a it almost looks like a like a lens we'll try and find one So this is from a telescope, but it doesn't look much different to this. And they basically put it into your eye and turn it around and it stays in your eye. Um, and then they basically focus the laser through that and, um, and do their work. They do their magic. So it's not invasive, so they don't have to like inject anything into it. Um, so assuming this one goes well today, I won't have to go for proper full on like retinal surgery, which is, I think it's pretty like a lot more invasive. So. Um, I'm, I'm excited to kind of get through this. The reason why I wanted to record about it is because I didn't know about this stuff until I had gone to the optometrist and then had like the experience with it. Um, I didn't know this kind of stuff happens. I thought, you know, as you get older, you might get things like cataracts or glaucoma or things like that. Um, but for someone who's kind of young, I'm only 31 to get like a tear in my retina, it was new. So I wanted to jump on in case anybody kind of searches for this particular topic ever and just kind of give you guys the heads up of, you know, what, I'm kind of going through um, so it's not a painful thing it's not like um, it's not something I'm too worried about um, I'm not at risk of losing my vision or anything just yet uh, if it detaches and I don't do anything about it I probably am at risk losing my vision um, but at the moment everything's pretty uh, pretty peachy so yeah so what I'll do is I'll jump on here again after I finish doing the surgery in the next day or this afternoon or this evening or whatever it is and I'll give you guys a, an update. But if you've got any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. As I said, I'm not a doctor. Um, I didn't finish my PhD. I was a PhD dropout proudly, so I can't give you any medical advice, but I'll give you, give you a bit of info on my experience. So anyway, I'll be back once we've finished doing the laser treatment. Heading out now. 
And when I say I genuinely can't be bothered for this process, like I really can't. It's not the most exciting thing to have to go through, but gotta do what you gotta do. Wish me luck. Rooms here behind me. I've had the drops put in, I've had the consultations, and now I've just gotta wait to get the laser done. So apparently it's like a head thing that they put on and they burn the tissue. Lucky the wife took me. Getting a laser. A laser in the eye. So I've had like 10 drops. Just waiting for the doctors to come back in. We'll get it done. 15 minutes. It was successful. They did what they needed to do. So, I've got to have the sunglasses on because it's a bit bright outside. But, um, follow up appointment in two to three weeks. But it's done, so, I don't have to worry about it now. <laughs> Apparently, most people pass out when that happens, when they do it, but I didn't pass out. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I'm back, and now the pain's kicked in a little bit. Um, so, I've just taken some ibuprofen and I'm gonna kind of just rest a bit. I've got a headache and just, it's a bit painful. Feels like there's pressure there. Um, nothing unbearable, nothing uh, you know, obviously can't deal with, but it's just a bit uncomfortable. Um, and the light sensitivity doesn't kind of help because my pupils are so um, big, I think. They feel big anyway, you can probably maybe see them. Um, so the light sensitivity just makes my, feel like I've got a headache, but anyway. So I'm gonna just kind of chill out a bit and rest, let the painkillers kick in, and uh, I'll check back in with you again soon. Hours after laser surgery, uh, excuse my kind of crushed Ninja Turtle shirt here. <laughs> um, three to four hours after laser surgery, pain has subsided, feeling pretty good. Uh, the pupils are still a little bit dilated, if you can, um, if you can still just see. Um, but the pain subsided, so I don't really have any discomfort there now. Um, and yeah, everything seems to be going well. The surgeon said that um, as he was doing it, you know, everything was going really well. After it was finished, he said it was a success. Um, so fingers crossed, fluid doesn't leach in and we don't get a full retinal detachment. So um, I have to go back for a follow-up uh, treatment in uh, maybe two weeks. Uh, not treatment, sorry, follow-up checkup in about two weeks just to see how everything's going um, since I've, I've now had it. So two rounds of laser treatment down uh, and hopefully that is it now, at least for a very long time. Um, look, once you have this type of stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if it kind of comes again, um, but you know, fingers crossed. So all in all, it wasn't too bad. So uh, I'll see how I feel tomorrow and I may or may not check back in, but nearly 24 hours post laser eye surgery for the torn retina and so far so good slight pain slight dull ache nothing too serious nothing too concerning that i'm worried about everything that i expect overall can't complain it's been it was a pretty smooth process the process took the actual lasering process probably took about five maybe ten minutes or so um plus the prep and stuff before that but overall um, no concerns, it was a pretty smooth run, um, but fingers crossed, as I said, hopefully I will not have to have some anymore. So all I've been doing is been taking uh, paracetamol and ibuprofen for pain relief, uh, but otherwise it's pretty smooth running. So hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I kind of share a little bit of insights, a little bit of my story. If anyone has any questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer those as well. And um, if you are getting it, good luck with it. It's not all that bad. It feels a little bit squirmy to think about because it is in the eye and most people don't like it. But overall, really, I don't think it's anything that you should be concerned about, in my opinion, from my experience. So anyway, hope you liked this video. Please hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you enjoyed it, if you have any questions. And until next time, I shall see you later. Bye.